Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice for September 26th, the week starting September 26th, 2016. And this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, so as always, please remember that these are general readings, so they're not going to apply to everybody watching. You can watch your Moon and Rising sign readings for additional messages. Um, or of course, get a private reading. You can do that by following the link in the description box below. But for the time being, uh, just keep an open mind and take away the messages that do resonate with you in this general reading. Okay, so Sagittarius, um, I'm loving your cards. So your overall energy for the entire week is the Ace of Rods. And this is beautiful, okay? It talks about new energy kind of erupting into your life and bringing a lot of opportunity with it. Um, this could be a new job. This could be a new career. Um, this could be a new uh, money-making endeavor, okay, a new source of income that you're inspired to look into. This could be a new passion, new passion coming into or coming back uh, to existing relationships, a uh, new passion in terms of new relationships coming into your life at this time or the potential for this definitely with the Acer Rods. Um, it's a very inspired idea, so it could also be creative projects or progress with creative projects, with creative endeavors. Um, you're definitely very inspired this week, okay? So pay attention to that and try your best to uh, write your ideas down, okay? I feel like some of them are really gonna be money makers for you this week. So write your ideas down and look at how you can manifest them, look at how you can implement them, okay, with the Ace of Rods. And this is also a lot of energy, so feeling very excited, okay? Uh, being able to do a lot within just one day. Um, maybe starting a new workout program, maybe starting um, like a fitness fitness plan or dancing or a new hobby, a new creative hobby. It's just a lot of positivity coming into your life at this time, okay, with the Ace of Rods. A lot of opportunities too because the Ace of Rods, um, I like to, to look at the Ace of Rods as it never comes by itself, okay? When the Ace of Rods is presented to us, it always brings more opportunities with it, okay? The Ace of Rods is just the first step, and as soon as we take that first step, we are presented with a lot more opportunities. So when it comes to your career and financial sector, we have the Chariot. So the Chariot is awesome. It talks about success. It talks about celebration. It talks about promotion. It talks about um, raise. Um, it talks about moving up the ladder, okay? Um, it could also represent increase in finances. Um, and this could come from an inspired idea, okay? Because we have the stars all around the chariot. So it could be an inspired idea that you follow through on, that you take a chance on, and it just kind of takes off the ground for you really, really quickly. Um, this is also, um, it talks about the end of delays with the chariot. Um, it also, for some of you, I feel like this is definitely a new job opportunity that is being presented to you if you've been looking for a job. Even if you if you have a job, I feel like this is just an opportunity that comes your way out of nowhere and it's amazing. And you may be thinking it's too good to be true, but I feel like really look into it because I feel like um, it's, it's actually valid, okay? Um, the chariot also talks about investments. You can make events, you maybe are making investments at this time. Um, something with cars so maybe you're starting a job that has to do with selling cars or uh, with maintenance or repairs and this is something you enjoy to do this is something that has been a hobby for you and now you're turning it into a job is what i'm getting definitely progress increase in finances you're very focused this week you're very determined this week you're getting a lot done is what i'm getting with the chariot and the ace of rods okay and if you feel like you want to change your career, I feel like that is a an inspired idea. And you definitely have everything you need in order to be able to do this, okay? Just get a plan going and and act upon it, okay? The Chariot and the Ace of Rods is, both cards are, are a call to action. So don't dwell on things this week. If you get an idea and you feel good about it, act on it, okay? In your home and family sector, we have the Knight of Swords. So with the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Rods this week, uh, for some of you, you know, this could talk about things getting a bit heated at home. Um, I feel like 
you know, this could be an air sign and a fire sign kind of getting into an argument this week. So air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So you could be getting into an argument with the fire sign, with the with another fire sign or with an air sign or they're getting into an argument and you kind of have to referee is what I'm getting for some of you. The Knight of Swords with the Ace of Rods also talks about house moves for some of you is what I'm getting and you could be moving to a foreign place or some place that you've absolutely never been to before. Um, for some of you I feel like you're moving to the country, to the countryside or you may be going back to your country if you live abroad. But it's something that you're very determined to do, okay? It's something you've been thinking about for a while, and I feel like now's the time you get a great opportunity, and you're just seizing the day is what I'm getting. And if tempers are, you know, kind of flaring this week, try your best to remain calm and to calm the people involved in whatever argument or exchange is going on. And... Um, I feel like if all else fails, take control of the situation and just kind of split them up. You know, send one into one room and the other into a different part of the house or something like that, okay? Because I feel like there could be some, you know, impatience happening um, or things not... I feel like it's to do with the fact that there are some changes happening and some people are not happy about it or some people don't know how to handle changes so kind of they act out. So just be mindful of that, okay? In your emotional life and love life, you have the star. So this is beautiful. The star with the Ace of Rods is awesome. For some of you, what I'm getting is pregnancy, getting your wish. Okay, the star card represents a wish card, and it's a major arcana card. So it talks about major life changes that come with the fulfillment of this wish. So for some of you, it talks about getting pregnant. Okay, it is new life um, coming in. You know, uh, for for you and for your partner. Um, or even if you don't have a partner, I'm getting for some of you, but you have been wanting a baby, I feel like it's happening for you this week. Uh, for others, the star card represents meeting that special someone this week, okay? And it could be another fire sign, or it could be an Aquarius. And it is literally your dream partner, okay? It's your knight in shining armor. It's um, the woman of your dreams, the man of your dreams, and... You're, it's almost like you're just falling in love this week. You're head over heels with this person and they're head over heels with you is what I'm getting. For others of you, I feel like this is healing from past pain, healing from a breakup this week. And for the first time in a long time, you feel happy. You feel excited. You feel excited about love again. You feel like you're ready for love again. And that's a beautiful thing this week. Um, in existing relationships, this talks about marriage proposals. It talks about moving in together. It talks about actually getting married, okay, maybe in some sort of tropical location, someplace abroad, someplace tropical, someplace warm, or an island or some sort, something like that comes to mind. But whatever you're wishing for, basically, okay, that I did not exemplify, the star card says, yes, it's happening. So continue to do what you've been doing. Continue to work on it, and chances are, during this week, at some point during this week, you're going to see things come to life. You're going to see uh, things manifest. You're going to hear that communication. You're going to hear that wonderful news. You're going to meet that awesome person, okay? And this could also be making peace after a time of difficulty within an existing relationship. Calming down and remembering that actually you love each other and uh, take it from there, okay? And, and get that spark going in the relationship once again. In your health and well-being, we have the Six of Rods. So we have the Six of Rods with the Ace of Rods. For some of you, um, I'm getting, once again, I'm getting pregnancy. For others, this is conquering something. For some of you, you're conquering your fears this week and you're thus relieving a great deal of stress from your life is what I'm getting for some of you. For others with the Six of Rods and the Ace of Rods, I feel like you're setting the example for someone. I feel like you could be leading someone or guiding someone this week to go to hospital or to go for a certain uh, a certain treatment or to take a chance and uh, do better with their health. I feel like you're a, you're a guide for someone, you're a teacher for someone when it comes to um, the area of health and well-being because you've been through this yourself so you have experience with this, okay? 
but this is also new beginnings when it comes to your health and well-being so for some of you I feel like you're feeling strong enough to work out or you're feeling strong enough to um, go back into the you know um, work go back into work or you go back to finding work um, further this is conquering illness okay definitely having healing definitely getting your health back if getting your vitality back is what I'm getting with the Easter rods and the six of rods and you could be taking a trip for your health this week or you're taking a trip to um, do something fun to do something exciting because for the first time in a long time you feel happy and you feel um, like you can actually do this okay so that's a beautiful thing it's talking about healing new energy excitement vitality coming in for your health as well okay so there you have it it's a really awesome reading you're gonna have to let me know how these cards apply for you if they do and how your week is going thank you for being here i hope that you have an absolutely great week and i'll talk to you soon take care